People ask me where I get the hat from. That's a Nike hat. If you can't find it in the shop, just get your favorite hat, take it to your embroidery store, and they'll fix it up for you. And this shirt from Chris Kendall, theraweradvantage.com. Look up Chris Kendall on YouTube. Cool guy. Got some great lifestyle tips in the raw foods and the vegan lifestyle. Excellent skater. Just, and just a good guy to listen to. Got some great insights there. Today's question, well, this hour's question, or actually this minute's question, I should say, because I've got so many questions in my inbox that I unfortunately never get around to finishing all of them. So that's why I do YouTube videos, because I can answer one question and put it out to thousands of people. So that's awesome. Question is, what do you do when you need to go to the bathroom in nature? When you're out riding or cycling or running or whatever, what do you do when you have a crap? What do you need to do, what do, you need to do when you have to have a dump, have to have a whiz? What do you do? Well, I'm a big believer, and I never used to be, but I'm a big believer in going to nature when you need to have a, go to the toilet. Take some toilet paper with you, have it stashed in the back of your jersey or your pocket or whatever or whatever. Do what you need to do. I mean, it's like, I remember in 1999, a friend of mine, she was like an Ironman at a triathlete lady, very fit lady, and she was telling me about her uh, Ironman event. She goes, oh, you know, and then I lost a couple of minutes in the run because I had to go, you know, take a dump in the bushes. And I was like, what? What did you do? You had a crap in the bushes? That's disgusting. She's like, what do you mean it's disgusting? The birds do it, the bears do it, every, you know, all the animals do it, the kangaroos do it, the koalas do it. What's the deal with that? You know, why isn't it, why can't we do it? And I'm like, oh, yeah, she's in a, you know, like, why? And I'm like, um, I don't know, I just got raised that you shouldn't do those things. It's like, <laughs> she's like, if you want to get fast and fit, you got to get used to shitting and pissing in nature. And that is just like a paradigm shift for me. That was back in 1999. I'm just like, fuck. And, uh, and then I looked, she, you know, and I remember this person because she had an amazing body. And she says, you know, part of this amazing body is my ability to eat enough and drink enough. So then if I need to go to the toilet, I don't care because I can just go in the bushes anytime. And that was a real paradigm. 1999 was a, a real turning point in my life. It's when I learned about Lance Armstrong and his plant-based sort of focused diet and I learned a lot in 1999. I did a lot more bike racing, learned a lot. And my friend Lee at the time, she told me about that. And I was like, wow, well, so you've got a really good body and you're way fitter than me as a runner and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that advice. So I took that advice and I learned to crap and piss in nature with no guilt and no whatever. And just definitely do it, man. <laughs> Get over this fucking prima donna glamour, you know, Hollywood movie star fucking I'm too good to squat like I should in nature anyway, like all the animals do. Get over that egotistical nonsense that I'm a human and humans aren't like animals. We're fucking animals as well, man. We are animals. That's what we are. We are animals. Koalas crap in nature. So should you. So get into it. Even Blinky says that's a good idea. What do you think, Blinky? Give, give us a nod if you think it's a good idea. Blinky. See? Blinky, Blinky agrees. So, um, Blinky, just stop mucking around. Don't distract the audience, Blinky. Okay, okay, just just back off a bit, all right? Just sit down there. Be a good little koala. So get used to going to nature, man. Simple as that. Freely has a crap in nature. She'll have a piss in nature. I certainly definitely will. Bring some toilet paper. Find on your local loop where you can go in privacy. Probably best not to crap on people's front lawns, but if you have to, you have to, and just say a, a flock of fruit bats just flew overhead. Whatever. I remember watching a marathon once, and there was a... Uh, a bunch of runners come past, and for some, I was just you know watching them come past, and uh, one of them had just crap all over the back of their legs. And check out this picture. This runner was felt too self-conscious to go and have a crap in nature. Personally, I'd rather have a crap in nature than have crap running down my leg. Just saying, everyone's different. I just say what I do. You know, I just say what I do. So that's my tip. Get used to crapping and peeing in nature. If you want to be hydrated, you're going to be peeing in nature. You're going to, go be, you're going to be going to the toilet a lot. Find a group of cows and watch the cows for half an hour. And you're going to see them crapping and pissing all the time. It's just how it is, man. Get used to it. And look up the importance of squatting when you're having a crap or having a whiz. Look up the importance. The, the colon, the angles and stuff like that. It's for maximum elimination, you've got to squat. So look it up on the net. Don't believe what I say. Look it up more. Do more homework. Forge new conclusions based on your own personal beliefs. Forge new beliefs based on your own conclusions. Look it up. If you want an extra flat stomach and stuff like that, get used to it. So sleep, water, sugar, that's the foundations for health and fitness. If you want to get the fitness, the weight loss transformations, etc., you've got to get used to 
eating enough food that you're going to go to the toilet a lot more often. Get used to it. Embrace health. Embrace health and fitness. You're not going to get a good body if you're constantly dehydrated and undercarved and constipated and dehydrated. You're going to fuck up your skin, fuck up your health. Everything's going to fuck up. Get used to being natural in that term of going to the toilet in nature. I'm not telling you to walk around the street naked and, and get rid of everything. I'm telling you just get used to going to the bushes like all the animals do if you have to and do whatever. And I've ridden, I've ridden and trained of a lot of the world's elite athletes, both male and female, and, and, and none of them have got any issues about going to the bushes to go to the toilet. No one has. And that's the thing. If you want to get to that level, if you want to get a fit body, you've got to get used to being in nature, you know, like sweating and having a crap or weeing in nature. You've got to get used to these things as part of it. A lot of people don't want to get, they don't want to sweat, but they want to have a fit body. I'm like, <laughs> trying to have fitness without sweating or trying to have hydration without going to the toilet, it's like, you, you can't do that. You can't do that. I used to be in that boat myself, so I understand where you're coming from, but once you release that attachment to those limiting beliefs, you'll reach a far higher level than you're at now. You know, I've been out training with Alberto Contador, Lance Armstrong, Valverde, Cadell Evans, Stuart O'Grady, a lot of people, blah, blah, blah. This morning, even Bobby McEwen was out in the bunch, so here on the Gold Coast in Australia. So everyone's using the bushes if they ever need to. I remember in 1999, actually, Kathy Watt, um, had a piss in the gutter before the start of the race, the women's uh, Canberra tour at that time. That was that was eye-opening. So that's just how it is, you know, just get used to it, just how it is. And I've got friends who've got weight loss transformation stories, and their personal stories, like, Harley, yeah, I, I, I'll have a crap and piss in nature any time. And these people have just become a lot more relaxed and less rigid. You want to be rigid, you want to be relaxed and flexible in that you have to have, have a whiz in nature? Cool, man, great. Uh, the plants need the nitrogen. Simple as that. I've got some tips down below for more about this lifestyle. Hit the subscribe button here, join the cult. And share this video with your friends on Facebook. Put it on your grandma's Facebook page, share it around. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Post your comments and questions down below. Have you ever been busted having a crap and a piss in someone's front lawn? I have. <laughs>